This is a quick little video to show you how to download Code Composer Studio and test out your launchpad board. So in the email I sent out to you, uh, there's this uh, link here, processors.wiki.ti.com slash index.php slash download underscore CCS. And um, I'm running Linux, so I click on this one. You can pick the appropriate operating system that you want to download for. It brings you uh, to a login page for TI. And I've already logged in, so you'll have to make, either make an account or if you already have a TI account, sign in. Then you have to click this uh, civil thing that you're going to use, not, you're not going to use this for military programs, and then you have to click yes, that you certify this is true, and submit, and that will download the installer for Code Composer Studio, and you can install it then. Um, in, uh, in the Linux lab, you have to go up to the top here, and there's a, a menu there. It goes down, pops down to Walla Walla U and uh, WWU menu, and in, under that, the top item is Code Composer Studio. On my Ubuntu install, it's over here. Uh, I have it stored in my uh, launcher here. So we'll start Code Composer Studio. Um, you need to pick your workspace. I have one called New Workspace because I have a lot of different uh, um, uses for the Eclipse uh, IDE, and this is the one I use for the MSP430. Uh, you, you'll probably just have a thing called Workspace. And you also, uh, once you've done that, you click OK. Then you also need to plug in your, your board um, uh, to a USB port. This is your launch pad board. You need to plug that into a USB port. And <clears throat> when you do that, uh, um, uh, you'll uh, <clears throat> see the lights come on, hopefully. Then uh, what you need to do is you need to make a new project. So go over here to Project Menu and New Code Composer Studio Project. And you need to type in here MSP430F5529 because that's the actual uh, processor we're using on this launch pad. And it'll pop up over here. Once it does that, you can, uh, you can go down here to uh, the examples and click the blink the LED example. And you need to call it something... Uh, Um, so I'm calling it Blink the LED. And uh, you could have uh, just clicked this Identify here, and I think it would also give you that, uh, that thing there. We could try it. Um, so, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully that's working. But anyway, you click the Finish here, and it makes your little project and it opens up the uh, Blink C program which you can look at and see what it does there if you like but then we, what we want to do is build it so I click the build icon and it's uh, compiling the project here once it's built you need to double check and make sure there's no errors right here there shouldn't be because you know that's uh, a second program they've made and debugged already and then you click this little bug icon right up here. It says uh, debug blink.c. And so we click on that. And uh, it starts uh, blinking the LED on your uh, launch pad. <clears throat> and eventually comes up with this, uh, this thing here, um, which is the debugger. And um, here is the, uh, the launch pad. I'm going to click the little a little green arrow to tell it to run the program and when it does you can see the LED blinking there rather quickly and when I push the pause button you can see it stop and you can see where you are in the program and you can play around with this but what I really want is to make sure that all your hardware works so that's basically the end of this little video and hopefully it wasn't too tough and, and everything works